Hey there, welcome back. Today we're talking about flipping properties. What is a flip? How do you get started in the process if you're considering flipping homes? And what you should consider if you're a buyer buying a property that has been flipped. I'm Jeb Smith, Coldwell Banker, residential brokerage here in Southern California. And uh, first of all, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. If you haven't done so already, please hit the subscribe button. I do these videos to help educate buyers and sellers alike and also investors investors of course and um, you know by you doing that it helps me get the word out to more people so let's get started you know what is a flip a flip is basically um, you know in, in layman's terms is is buying a property at a at a discount, if you will, um, based on the current condition of the property with the idea that you're going to fix it up and sell it. Uh, for more money in a short period of time. That's essentially what a flip is, right? Um, so, so how do you get started in the process? That's really what this video is about. If you're considering, um, you know, getting into that the flipping game, what are the things that you should start to think about um, as you're, you know, making that move, if you will? Because I get a lot of people out there asking those questions. You know, hey, I'm considering flipping homes. You know, can you help me? So on and so forth. So I, I just want to go over a couple, a series of questions to ask yourself um, when when starting that process that I think will help guide you in the right direction and help make informed decisions and, and see if it's it's a good fit for you. Um, the the one is is you know where are you getting the information on the property its current value right are you you know make sure that whenever you're considering the property that you're looking to purchase that you're actually getting it at the the value that it's you know that it's currently valued at um, the, the last thing you want to do on on a flip property is pay more money than it's actually worth right because the idea is that you're going to be selling the money or selling the property and actually making money on that investment. And so the more money you can make, obviously a better opportunity there is, um, you know, to make more money, if you will. So, you know, the, the number one thing is, to consider is, is where are you getting the value for, for the property? Make sure you're talking to an agent, getting comparables on that property when you're thinking of purchasing it. Um, secondly, and probably one of the more important factors is he, here is, is what can you sell it for once the property is actually fixed up? Um, you know, what is the maximum that property would sell for? in the condition that you plan on repairing it to because that is you know that is going to be one of the factors that's going to help you determine whether or not it's a good investment a good property to flip um, also that's another opportunity for you to talk to a professional a real estate agent that that knows the market in that area and can give you an idea of what the property might sell for um, you know in the market ahead right because the market that is happening right now isn't necessarily the market that's going to be here in four six months when you actually have the property ready to sell so you want to make sure you're talking to a real estate agent that understands the market and can talk to you about the future and what they expect and give you realistic expectations of what that home might sell for in coming months even though they can't predict the market they can give you a pretty good idea of where the market will be in times ahead you know thirdly what is it going to cost to get that property in the condition that you're thinking will net the most amount of money that is you know another opportunity to, to talk to an agent and find out you know what similar properties are selling for um, in the condition that you plan on on getting it to but more importantly like where are you getting the bids you know if you're watching HGTV and and that sort of thing and you're seeing that they can do a kitchen remodel for 10 grand you know you've got to find out if that's realistic and talking to two contractors if you're planning on doing the work yourself you know you need to make sure that you know what you're doing for one um, but also go out and actually get bids um, you know on on material on on you know if you're planning on using someone on labor you know get realistic ideas of what it's going to cost us to, to get that property in the in the in the condition that you plan on putting it in on the market to sell and so and you should have you know, an additional budget outside of what they're telling you, right? So if a contractor is telling you it's going to be 50 grand, you should probably consider it's going to be 70 grand. Um, I would go, you know, above and beyond what they say. That way you're not in a position where, you know, the home is almost done, but there's still work to be completed and you don't have the funds to do it to get it in that condition to sell. Um, because I see that happening a lot. Um, there's a lot of people out there trying to flip homes and it takes them longer than they had anticipated. It costs more money than they thought and they end up losing money on the transaction because of the time and the work required 
and, and, and the, you know, not having the necessary funds to do it. Fourth thing would be, you know, are you considering all the cost on it, right? Because, you know, it's not just buying the property and, and the upgrades uh, that, that are factored into that, right? You've got to take in the cost to sell the property. Um, are there realtor fees involved to actually get it sold? Um, are you hiring a list, you know, a listing agent to sell the property? If so, then you've got to factor the listing agent in as well as the buyer's agent and closing cost on that, right? There's going to be title and escrow fees depending on what state you're in, but there are going to be fees associated with selling that property. You've got to factor that stuff in. Next would be the fifth thing, carrying cost. You know, where did that money come from initially? Are you getting a loan to buy that property and flip it? If so, there's a mortgage involved. And if you buy it cash, okay, so there's no mortgage, but you've got taxes. Um, you know, maybe there's an HOA, uh, maybe there's Melarus, depending on where it is. So you've got to factor that cost in and how long is it going to take you to get that property sold? Or ready for one and then sold. So if it's a three month project just to get the property ready in the condition and it might take you another 90 days to get it sold, you've got to factor in about six months of carrying cost. So once you factor that in with the realtor fees, the closing cost and the cost to actually do the work, then you have an idea of what your profit margin would be. Um, and then at that point, you've got to decide whether it makes sense or not, right? And that is 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 really the beginning stages of the process. I mean, this is really really basic information that I'm providing right now, but this is what you need to think about. And then lastly, another thing to consider is, you know, when you sell the property, you've got taxes to pay, right? This isn't um, an investment property where you can roll that gain in uh, to another property through a 1031 tax exchange. This is gonna be taxed as ordinary income. So depending on your tax bracket, you're gonna get taxed, you know, anywhere between what, 17 and 35% or something, depending on what tax bracket you're in. So, you know, that 50 grand you make off the profit isn't going to be a true 50 grand if you're at a 30% tax bracket, right? You're going to net a lot less than that. So you've got to determine whether or not it makes sense to put that money out there um, with the hopes of making 30, 50 grand. Um, you know, and, and lastly, you know, it's, it's a lot more difficult in this market uh, than it was, say, seven or eight years ago to find uh, flipped properties. Of course, they're out there, or properties to flip, rather. They're definitely out there. They're just harder to come by because there's a lot of competition. There's a lot of competitors in the game. There's a lot of investors out there looking for opportunities. And, you know, that's who you're competing against. So where are you getting those properties? That's, you know, you know, if you're considering this being your job or, or something to do on the side, you've got to have an avenue to find those properties in order to make, you know, this a, a reoccurring um, business opportunity for you. So, you know, if you have questions about flipping property, if you're buying a flip property, you have questions you know, reach out to me. Would love the opportunity to speak to you in a little bit more detail. I know I didn't get into, you know, if you're buying a property, some things to look for. So I'll do that in a separate video, but I wanted to keep this pretty short. Um, but again, if you have questions, comments, put them below or reach out to me directly. As always, I appreciate you taking the time to watch. We'll talk again soon. Have a great day. Bye-bye.